Greek spent a happy night with plenty to eat, talking about the struggle now past. For they had been seven days passing through the country of the Kurds, fighting all the time. They had suffered worse things at the hands of the Kurds than all that the King of Persia could do to them. Xenophon the Greek, 400 BC. Kurds are still fighting with the army of Iraq. Some garrisons are deserted, others surrounded and besieged. At stake, oil. tribes. Herky, Batsani, Hamawan, Akko. to pasture their flocks. <laughs> they fought each other and all invaders converted to Islam when the Arab conquest rolled across Asia 1,200 years ago. Their most famous warrior, Saladin, drove the Crusaders from the east. As years passed, some herdsmen made winter huts. villages, then towns grew, and with them the idea of nation, a Kurdish nation. By the end of the First World War, Kurds wanted their own country. But when Britain, France, and America drew the new map of the Middle East, the Kurdish nation found itself in four countries. Iran, Turkey, Syria, Iraq. Iraq begins exporting oil in 1931. At the end of the Second World War, the Kurds, still oppressed, revolt. 
Their leader is Mullah Mustafa Batsani. He is driven to Russia with 500 followers, returns 12 years later in 1958 to lead the Kurds. Honest, dedicated, Batsani never wavers. Gradually, he unites the warring tribes. The Democratic Party of Kurdistan, formed in 1946, grows and strengthens. Between 1961 and 1970, Barzani wages war on the Iraq government. They try to assassinate him. In 1970, an armistice is signed. March the 11th, 1974, the agreement expires. Kurdish hopes still not fulfilled. They reject new Iraqi offers as insufficient and refuse to accept a ceasefire. The Kurds, two and one half million, or one fourth the population of Iraq, control this area. These Iraqi garrisons remain. Frontline villages are abandoned. Kurds come north to shelter, help, or fight. Oh, my job is a civil engineer as in the Minister of Industry. I uh, have just come from Erbil, which uh, took me two days to get to Ramandus. Because the traveling was on either walking or riding. I decided to come and be on, my, on the side of... Uh, my people, the Kurdish people, which I really believe in the Kurdish cause. of uh, Kurdistan, they are uh, uh, coming and joining the uh, Peshmergas to uh, fight for their um, rights. They will meet all the newcomers from Erbil and Baghdad and Mosul to Kurdistan, uh, one after one, and they will find jobs for them in one of the offices in Kurdistan. I think about uh, 15,000 or uh, 20,000 we have seen until these days. We have given them uh, military jobs and uh, other jobs. They came to here to serve Kurdistan and uh, to be Peshmerga. <laughs> Men of the Iraqi army Kurds and some Arabs join the revolt. <laughs> they come to join the Pesh Murga, the Kurdish guerrillas. <laughs> They fight because they like to fight. They fight for Kurdish rights. They fight for oil. 
Uh, Iraq actually is one of the richest countries in oil in the Middle East. It is now known to be the second in uh, known reserves. Of these reserves also most of them or at least half to half of them are in Kurdistan, the rest are in the south of Iraq. This oil has been used for building modern Iraq. Our share of uh, the oil revenues had been uh, bombs and airplanes which were used by the Iraqi government against our people during the last 10 or 12 years. We have not asked for oil revenues according to resources. We have said, being Iraqis, we have the right to ask for oil revenues and oil revenues according to population so that our area, that is Kurdistan, our country should develop uh, evenly with the rest of Iraq. But the Iraqi government up to now has not accepted that. They have always treated Kurdistan as being outside the country when question of development come forward. Agricultural engineers trained in Iraq who have come to Kurdistan. The British built a dam, Dukhan Dam, for irrigation and electric power. It was in 1958. There is place for the generators, but the government still hasn't put them in. All the agriculture projects are in the south. We have good land, but the farmers don't know how to use it, how to irrigate it. There are no tractors. The roads are very bad. If we have things for the market, we cannot take them there. A few people of the government own the land. We want each farmer to have his own land to work on. Lemon, 
of the whole Iraqi industry is in Kurdistan and there are very few irrigation projects in Kurdistan whereas most of the irrigation projects are made in the south and center of Iraq. There is plenty of fertile land and plenty of water and rivers in Kurdistan which could be used not only to the interest of Kurdistan but to the interest of all of Iraq if it was done in a just way. To keep Kurdistan backward has been a policy followed by different governments. The Ba'asist government in 63 and the Ba'asist government now actually have followed this policy more savagely than any other government before. The number of people in schools in Kurdistan is far less than the number of people who are in school in the rest of the uh, country, of course taking percentage of population into consideration. Kurdistan is run by the Democratic Party of Kurdistan. This is the voice of Iraqi Kurdistan. When we start to broadcast against this, the 29th of last month uh, in Kurdish and in the other languages after uh, our national daily paper in Baghdad, which was published in Baghdad, it was closed and it was confisc confiscated by the government. So in order to reach the people and the public opinion, we had to broad broadcast in Kurd Kurdish. And now the people uh, of Kurdistan, they want to listen uh, to the Kurdish language. And the Kurdish language and the culture is everywhere. <laughs> شغب ميان ملا دما شرانا ورا سيري كا دليز وطوانا بولاي باوشي خوم خومين نماويم بفكر وخيال خومين فوتاويم بفكر وخيال خومين فوتاويم Miriam, man, Miriam, thousand, Miriam is a beloved. We hope and we work for an Iraq where the Kurds enjoy autonomy within a democratic government. Yes, no, what is the 
The Iraqi people, Kurds and Arabs alike, they all demand democracy and we shall fight for that. We hope it will come and it will establish democracy and give autonomy to Kurdistan. <coughs> The best uh, weapon have is uh, this uh, uh, mortar, uh, what which uh, you see here. Uh, One uh, hundred and twenty million mortar. It is the best, and uh, we have uh, some uh, uh, doshkas uh, to hit the airplanes. But uh, indeed, uh, these weapons which we have is not uh, uh, good for this war against the weapons, uh, Iraqian uh, army weapons. The Iraqi army, supplied and advised by Russia, is well equipped. Kurdish arms, some captured from Iraq most bought on the international arms market and brought in overland. Dubandikore Pass. First line of defense. Well, I joined the Persian Mega because it's our right to live and it's our own future, and every one of the Kurds should fight for such a thing. Well, we Kurds, the people living in Kurdistan, divided between four countries. The only thing that we want is to have our right to live with our own language and our own land in Iraq and to have our own opportunity to do what we like and to behave as we like. The Kurds living in their place with their economics and with our own personalities needing nothing more than our rights to live in our land and that's all what we want.